good morning my viewers good afternoon good evening depending on the time zone you are watching me i want to bless the name of the lord for your life for how you following this video commenting this video may the lord bless you according to your heart desires in the name of jesus christ this morning uh I want us to go through to another insightful insight class this one is a deep revelation from God a deep revelation from God in our previous insight class we had the, the gifts of the Spirit where we took our text from the first Corinthians chapter 12 7 to 8 the gifts of the Spirit we have the gifts of wisdom. We also have the gifts of knowledge, the gifts of faith, the gifts of healing, the gifts of working of miracles, the gifts of prophecy, the gifts of designing of the spirit, the gifts of diverse kinds of tongue, and the gifts of interpretation. But uh, but this moment, we're having a more deep revelation on the measures the measures the measures of the gift of the spirit a child of god can have but before we go proceed we have a word of prayer for more revelation from the holy spirit they have a word of prayer in jesus name our faithful god will thank you for how you have been leading us in a um, previous insight class on the gift of the spirit the fruit of the spirit lord another uh another inside class for you to reveal more knowledge to us lord we pray that give us a heart of understanding in the name of jesus christ amen we're trusting god and believing god that we have more clearer revelation we're focusing our attention this morning on the measures of the gifts of the spirit a child of god can possess the measure the measure the measure of the gifts a child of god can possess we have the nine gifts of the spirit the nine gifts we're talking about the measure of that gift a child of god can possess let's go to our scriptures in um ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 ephesians ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 it says but unto every one of us is given according to the measure of gifts of christ according to the measure the grace according to the measure of the gifts of christ according to the measure of the gifts of christ uh let's back up to first corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 says but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit without the manifestation that gift is given to you to profit without in that Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 that grace of God is given to you according to that gift is given to you is given to us according to the grace of God in us, according to the grace of God in us. The school, the school of the spirit is a very high standard. Is a stand the standards are high. One subject of the gifts of the spirit are very voluminous. What does that mean? They are very the depthness is too great. The depthness, the wideness, the broadness. The, the gifts of the Spirit are very voluminous. It's just a gift. The dimension, the inspiration in it are very voluminous. It takes the higher consecration and uh, patiently allowing the Holy Ghost to take full charge, to take full charge of our lives. For we to attend to that Gift number one, gift number two, it takes, it takes the higher consecration. Because this is a high 
high standard inspiration. It takes a higher consecration. It takes a higher consecration. And one, patiently, patiently allowing the Holy Spirit to take full charge, to take full charge of our lives. The Holy Spirit will take full charge. Anything you do, the Holy Spirit says, no, stand. You, you, oh, your, your obedience is 100%. Your obedience is 100%. Paul said that I may know him. That I may know him. Remember this Paul was an apostle of Christ. Paul, an apostle of Christ. He still had that desire that I may know him. That I may know him. You see, desire. You see, in his life, he came to understand that there's dimensions of Christ he needed to know. That prayer at that time may know him. In Philippians 3, verse 10, that I may know him. He had that desire, that passion, that I may know God. He had the gifts. He had the gift of uh, uh, speaking on tongues, gift of prophecy, but he desired more that I may know him, that I may know him. Have we attained to a height where our obedience to God is 100%? Let's tell uh, ourselves our truth. Have we attained, have we attained at that point in our lives that our obedience to God is 100%. Obedience to Christ is 100%. In Genesis chapter 5, verse 24, Bible says, An Enoch walk with God. An Enoch walk with God. Enoch walk with God. For he was not, for God took him. You can imagine a human being born as we are. And he lived righteously. He lived to, this, to the point that his obedience to Christ was 100%. His obedience to the Holy Spirit was 100%. That God said, no, this fellow, this creature of mine cannot continue living in this corrupt earth. And Enoch walk with God. You can imagine the relationship there. You can imagine the, the harmony there. You can imagine the, the depth of this holiness in this life of Enoch. You can imagine. And Enoch walked with God. For he was not. For God took him. God raptured him. God took him home. He was not. For God took him. For a child of God to possess more than one gift of the Spirit. For a child of God to possess one or more gifts of the Spirit. It, it shows the height of divine assignment. It shows the divine, the height of divine assignment. It shows the height of divine assignment. For one to attain more than one Remember, we are talking about the measures of the gift of the Spirit a child of God can possess. And I said now, for one to attain to that one or two, it takes, it takes another dimension of divine assignment. Divine assignment. In Luke chapter 2, verse 40, the Bible said, And the child grew and was strong. In the spirit, filled with wisdom, the grace of God was upon him. It's talking about baby Jesus. As the child was growing, Bible said, and the child grew, and and the child grew and was strong. To was to was strong in the spirit, to get mastery in the spirit of this school of. Uh, the school of the school of the uh, the spirit. He was strong. What does that mean? He he was the master. He was the master. No wonder his earthly ministry was a divine assignment.